But I just laid out roll number 48, and this is kind of crazy, guys. Hopefully you can see it. I see 1, 57 Denver, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I see 5 wheat pennies in one roll. Hey, what's up guys? Diggin' Dave. So I have five boxes of pennies. I just have one box in front of me, but they're all the same style, the Loomis style rolls, but they are circulated. I think two of the five boxes do have wheat penny enders. Um, I did mark it with a highlighter here, reverse wheat penny ender. I think another box has a wheat penny in the 50s, obverse facing, but five boxes of pennies, $125. I'll be looking for errors and varieties. Wheat pennies, of course, maybe in Indian head scent if we're lucky. But let's get digging into five boxes of pennies. And let's see what we can find, guys. Roll number two of box one for this video is going to give me the first wheat scent, a 1944 Denver. Some interesting uh, corrosion on the back, but uh, first find, 44 Denver and roll two. Let's keep on digging. All right, guys, so this is pretty interesting. I'm on roll number nine. Um, I didn't find all three of these finds in roll number nine, but um, the last couple rolls I found all three of these. Wheat Penny number two, 49 Denver. And then I got two cool finds. This is a 2006, and I had to do a little research on it, but um, let me show you guys. A lot of extra thickness. I think it might be the 007, um, but definitely a double die. You can see the cat eyes there in the zero. So a 2006 double die, not in the best condition, but um, still a cool find, a 2006. And then I've never found one of these before. I found 1972 Philadelphia double dies, but this is a 72 Denver. Now, I was doing a little research on it. This is actually the DDO002. Um, the date looked a little thicker, 1972 Denver. And then if you look up here, we have clear doubling in the R, the U, the S. You can really see the doubling there in the U. Um, there in the E and the W, in God. Now, clearly, this is not in the best condition, but probably maybe from the research I did, maybe a five to ten dollar coin. I also checked on eBay, but a seventy-two Denver um, with doubling. It's the zero zero two on Variety Vista. That's pretty cool. So within a few rolls, I found a wheat penny number two, and a two thousand six and seventy-two Denver double die. Pretty cool. Let's keep on digging, guys. I'm on roll number 15 of box one here and got wheat penny number three, 58 Denver. So three wheat pennies and two double dies and 15 rolls. It's pretty good. 58 Denver. Let's keep on digging. Roll number 19 of box one for this video is going to give me wheat penny number four. It's going to be a 1952 Denver, it looks like. Hole there with a little damage, but pretty cool. Let's keep on digging. Roll 22 is going to give me Wheat Penny number 5 for box 1. It's going to be a 55 Denver. Let's keep on digging. Roll 27 is going to give me Wheat Penny number 6. It's going to be a 1958 Denver. I have not found any more uh, varieties or double dies in the box. Still happy with that 2006 and uh, 1972 Denver though. But Wheat Penny number 6, we have 23 rolls left in the box. Let's keep on digging. Roll number 30 of box one is going to give me wheat penny number seven. Going to be a 54 Denver. So we still have 20 rolls to go and we have seven wheat pennies. Turning out to be a pretty good box. Let's keep on digging. Roll 40 of box one is going to give me wheat penny number eight. Going to be a 1946 Philadelphia. Let's keep on digging. Very next roll, roll number 41, is going to give me Wheat Penny number 9 for box 1. 54 Denver. Let's keep on digging. Well, all right, guys. Uh, box, uh, Penny box number 1 of this 5-box hunt. So we still have 4 boxes to go through, so don't go anywhere yet. 
Box one, we got nine wheat pennies. Nothing old. Um, all 40s and 50s common wheat pennies. But getting the two double die, uh, getting two double dies out of one box is pretty awesome. Again, there's there's a few different double dies for the 2006, but earlier I showed you a lot of extra thickness in the date, so definitely a DDO. I'm not sure which one. I don't think it's super valuable. And then, I, like I said, I found 1972 Philadelphia double dies before, but never a, never a 72 Denver. This is the 002, which, you know, it is a double die, even though it's not in the best condition. Still going to hold on to it. So nine wheat pennies and two double dies in box one. Let's keep on digging into penny box number two. Well, not a bad way to start off box number two for this video. Two wheat pennies in the first roll. And there is no enders in box two here. Um, boxes three, four, and five, I think each have one wheat penny ender. I'll have to double check. But I think two reverse and one's... Uh, front facing uh, one in the 50s I believe so you got 1956 Philadelphia and a 1951 Denver with quite a bit of damage on it but two wheat pennies and roll one for box two let's keep on digging all right a little update I'm on roll number nine roll number nine of penny box two and just got wheat penny three a 49 Denver and um, the reason I took my camera off the, the tripod, I always check the 98s, uh, 98, 99s, and 2000s for the wide AM. Never found a 92 or 92 Denver close AM. And I've never found a 99 wide AM. But I checked this 98. It's not in the best condition, but it is a wide AM. I found one of these about a week ago, so I always hold on to them. You know, in this condition, probably worth maybe 5 to 10 bucks. But a 1998 white AM. Again, underneath the microscope to get a little closer. Um, for anyone new watching, a white AM. This is supposed to, the A and the M are on uh, 98 are supposed to be touching. And there's a clear big space there between the A and the M. And the FG is closer to the building down here. So, kind of a cool variety. Two double dies in box one and only on roll nine of box two. Got a 1998 wide AM. I'll take it. Let's keep on digging. Roll 13 of box two is going to give me wheat penny number four. Looks like a 1957 Denver. As I drop it. <laughs> Let's keep on digging. Nice. Roll 16 of box 2 is going to give me wheat penny number 5. It's going to be a 1946 Denver. Sweet. Well, this happens once in a while, but not very often. I'm on roll number 20, so almost halfway through penny box number 2. Just got three wheat pennies in the same roll, roll number 20. Have a 50 Denver. A 48 Denver. And a 1947 Denver. So we went from five wheat pennies to now we have seven wheat pennies for the box. 30 rolls to go. Hopefully the box keeps it up. Let's keep on digging. Very next roll is going to give me two more wheat pennies. So I had a three wheat penny roll. Very next roll, two wheat pennies. So that's very awesome. Wheat penny number 8 9, a 46 Denver. And wheat penny number 10 for box 2 is going to be a 52 Denver. Awesome. Like I said, hopefully the box keeps up. Let's keep on digging. A couple rolls later, roll number 23. So almost halfway through, penny box number 2 is going to give me wheat penny number 11. A 1950 Philadelphia. Very nice. I'm on roll number 28 of box 2, and it's going to give me wheat penny number 12. So, pretty good box. 12 wheat pennies already. A 53 Denver. Let's keep on digging. Roll 30. Wheat penny number 13 for box 2. It's going to be a 1944 San Francisco. 
Very nice. All right, guys. Well, I won a few rolls with no more fines, but I'm on uh, roll number 38. So eight rolls later, we got a 58 Denver. Pretty nice condition, isn't me? Or does that Denver look crooked? <laughs> is that an error or is it just a crooked uh, mint mark? Let me look under the microscope. It's definitely crooked, but I don't know if that adds any value. See the Denver's kind of slanted weird. But 58 Denver. Let's keep on digging. Roll 39 for box 2 is going to give me Wheat Penny number 15. So this is a very good box for the number of Wheat Pennies above my average. Going to be a 1944. And we have 11 rolls of pennies left in box 2. Let's keep on digging. Very next roll. Uh, roll number 40 is going to give me Wheat Penny number 16 for box 2. A 45 Denver. We have 10 rolls to go in box 2. Let's keep on digging. Very next roll is going to give me Wheat Penny number 17, a 49 Denver. Very nice. Oh, well, all right, guys. I was just going to go through the last few rolls in uh, Penny Box 2 and just tell you guys if I found anything else. I'm on roll number 48. A couple rolls ago, I actually did find another Wheat Penny I set aside, Wheat Penny number um, 18 of 46. But I just laid out roll number 48, and this is kind of crazy, guys. Hopefully you can see it. I see 1, 57 Denver, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I see 5 wheat pennies in one roll. I don't know if that's ever happened to me. I've had a few times where I've gotten three or four wheat pennies in one roll, but out of a bank-wrapped roll or machine-wrapped roll, five wheat pennies in one roll is pretty crazy. But since I'm recording, let's just go ahead and pull these out. We do have a 57 Denver. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so we can see a little closer. Well, as I drop it, Good thing it's not a key date or anything too special. A 57 Denver. That's going to be Wheat Penny number 19. Looks like we do have a bit of the filled B. If you look right there, you see how the it's like a die chip in the B. Wheat Penny number 19. And then right here, um, I think we have... Yeah, right down here we have a reverse... like a very dirty beat up 1944 that is wheat penny number 20 this is turning out to be a fantastic box right here a couple of them were facing up and a couple were down wheat penny number three for this roll 56 denver let me check for an rpm under my microscope quick just looking like a common 56 denver no rpm wheat penny number 21 Another reverse facing wheat penny number four for roll 48 of box two. 58 Denver. Check that for an RPM as well. No RPM. Wheat penny 22. And then I did see here. So yeah, unless I'm not seeing one, I'm still going to go through this roll for errors and varieties. But um, a 44, yeah, I think we just got five wheat pennies in one roll. That's pretty crazy. We now have a total of 23 wheat pennies. Let me go ahead and look through the rest of this roll for errors and varieties. Double dies. We still have two rolls after this, so I'll let you guys know if I find anything else cool. Well, wow, guys, uh, box number two here was fantastic. Um, I went through the last two rolls in the box and actually got two more wheat pennies. Uh, we got a 44 and a 46. So we're going to end penny box number two for this video with 25 wheat pennies. I checked the dates again because I couldn't remember. Unfortunately, they're all 40s and 50s, uh, pretty common. Um, but 25 wheat pennies in a box is definitely above my average. 
We also did get the 1998 White AM in this box as well. Awesome. 25 Wheat Pennies and a 98 White AM. Pretty awesome. Let's keep on digging into Penny Box number 3. Now, like I said, boxes 3, 4, and 5 each have a Wheat Penny Ender. I did mark them, so hopefully the fun continues in the next three boxes. Don't go anywhere, guys. We have a lot of penny rolls to still look through. Let's keep on digging. All right, just to let you all know, box number three, like I said, did have an ender, and I marked it with a yellow um, highlighter in the box so I could just remember where it was. It is a 56 Denver, you can see. So for box number three, I'm going to start with the ender roll. Let me open it up. I'll let you guys know if there's any Wheat Penny friends in the roll or anything else cool. Let's keep on digging. Well, guys, there was definitely some more finds in the Ender Roll. There's the Ender 56 Denver, and look at this. I was surprised. Two other Wheat Pennies in the roll with it, a 25 and a 27. I'm hoping we might be on to a possible small collection dump. Hopefully it's not just beginner's luck on box number three. In the first roll, like I said, um, I decided to do the Ender Roll first, but a 25, a 27, which finding Wheat Pennies in the 20s and 30s is actually pretty difficult most of the time. 25 and a 27 and a 56 Denver in one roll. One roll into box three, and we already have three Wheat Pennies. Fingers crossed. Hopefully there's some more cool finds. And boxes four and five have a Wheat Penny Ender as well, so I'm really hoping... We have some good finds spread out through the next three boxes. Let's keep on digging into roll number two of box three. Roll number four of box three is going to give me Wheat Penny number four. It's going to be a 1944. That's a lot of fours. <laughs> Let's keep on digging, guys. Roll seven is going to be a good roll. Three Wheat Pennies in roll seven. So 1944, Philadelphia, Wheat Penny number four. Five. So we're up to seven wheat pennies in seven rolls. Not too bad. 1955 Philadelphia. Maybe the poor man's double die, but not the valuable double. If I ever found a 55 double die in a roll, I would probably pass out. So we had a 55 Philadelphia and a Denver in the same roll. 55 Denver. Seven wheat pennies, and we're on roll seven of box three. This is a lot of fun. Hopefully it keeps up. Let's keep on digging. All right, I'm on roll number 10 of box three and just find a, uh, found a pretty cool double die. I always check the 2014s and just got a double die right there. Very clear. Look at the thickness in the two, the zero, one, and four. Even up here in um, Trust. We have some doubling there in the S and the U, but 100% a double die. Pretty cool. And over here, it is the DDO-003 on Variety Vista. If you look right here, um, to the zero, it is the 003. Look there. I need to figure out how to not get a, just kind of a glare on the microscope, but definitely a double die. Pretty cool. Let's keep on digging. All right, I'm on roll number 17, so I did get that 2014 double die, which is uh, an awesome find. Anytime you find an error or variety double die, it's awesome. But the last uh, Wheat Penny I found was in... Well, actually, I, I think I found a couple Wheat Pennies in roll number 7. So I've gone 10 rolls with no more Wheat Pennies. In roll 17, we're finally going to get another one. Um, and Wheat Penny number 8 for box 3 is going to be a 1956 Philadelphia. Let's keep on digging. Roll 22 of box 3 is going to give me Wheat Penny number 9. And it's going to be a 1955 Denver. Let's keep on digging. Well, finally going to get some more wheat pennies here in box three. Roll, uh, roll number 29. I'm going to get two wheat pennies in the same roll. I'm going to have a 1958 Denver. That's wheat penny number 10 for box three. And wheat penny number 11 for the box. A 1957 Denver. 
21 rolls to go in box three. Let's keep on digging. Well, guys, here we go again. It's weird. Sometimes I go a few rolls with no fines, and then I hit a roll with two or three wheat pennies in the same roll earlier, five wheat pennies in the same roll in box two. But I'm on roll number 38 and just got three wheat pennies in the same roll. 57 Denver. There's a few die chips there in the date. Nothing crazy, though. 57 Denver. Check for a repunched mint mark. No, nope, not seeing anything. That is Wheat Penny number 12. Wheat Penny number 13 for box three is going to be 1936. Could it be the double die? Let me double check under the scope. Nope, does not look like it. And then Wheat Penny number 14. 46 Denver. We have 12 rolls left and we have 14 Wheat Pennies. Box two, we had 25. I think box number one, we only had nine wheat pennies. Let me double check. Yeah, box one, we had nine wheat pennies. Box two, we had 25 wheats. Now on box three, we're doing pretty good. 14 wheat pennies, and we have 12 rolls left. We did also find that double die earlier, which I'm super happy with. You can see the thickness there in the date, 2014. A die marker, too, is a die chip there on the back of the shield. And this is a pretty nice one. I forgot to tell you guys earlier, I found one of these before, the same DDO-003. I've never found the 001, but this is the second one of this kind I found. Always love finding the double dice. All right, let's keep on digging, guys, into box number three. Two rolls later in box three, roll number 40. It's going to give me Wheat Penny number 15. Another good box for the Wheat Pennies, and we got that double die. We got two double dies in box number one as well, so these boxes are doing really well. A lot of 46s, though. 46 Philadelphia. Weedy number 15 for box three. Ten rolls left. Let's keep on digging in box three. All right, guys, I'm on roll number 48 of box three. This is a 1960 Denver. I always check them for the... Repunched mint mark and the double die. A lot of varieties on 1960 Denver's. But I put it under the microscope and um, it's not a RPM, but we do have a pretty uh, nice sized die chip between the 9 and the 6. I checked on eBay. Some of these 1960 Denver's with die chips on them sell for a couple dollars. But hey, I'll take a couple dollars for a penny. Pretty cool die chip right there. All right, guys, two rolls left in box number three. Let's keep on digging. Just finished penny box number three for this video and ended with 15 wheat pennies. The oldest being a 27, a 25, and a 36. Um, got a few Canadians. I didn't film them all. Nothing old, all common, you know, 60s, 70s, 80s, I think a 2006. few Canadian cents. Then ended with this cool 1960 Denver die chip between the 9 and the 6. And my favorite find is this 2014 double die DDO 003. So box number 3 was pretty good. Let's keep on digging and move on to penny box number 4. So there was an ender in box number 4 and I decided to start with that roll. It was actually front facing so it's a 49S. And that was the only wheat penny in uh, the Ender Roll, a 49S. All right, let's keep on digging. Very next roll, roll number two of box four is going to give me wheat penny two. Number two, 54S. Nice. Nice to see some S San Francisco mint marks. Let's keep on digging. Roll six of box four, wheat penny number three, a 1942. Sweet. Roll 12 for box four is going to give me wheat penny number four. Looks like it's going to be a 1955 Denver. Nice. Let's keep on digging. Roll 14 is going to give me a double wheat penny roll. Wheat penny number five is going to be a 53 Denver. And wheat penny number six for box four is going to be a 1948S. Let's keep on digging. Roll 16, Wheat Penny number 7 for box 4. 53 Denver. 
Very nice. So I've gone through quite a few rolls since the last find in roll 16. Now I'm on roll number 24, but it's good. We're going to get two wheat pennies in roll 24. Wheat penny number 8 for the box. 4 is going to be a 44S. And wheat penny number 9 is going to be a 53 Denver. We have 26 rolls left in box 4. Let's keep on digging. Roll number 30 of box 4 is going to give me wheat penny number 10. And I did see the date already. But how about a 1913? In actually pretty nice condition. Clear details. That's a pretty nice looking wheat penny. Um, I know 1913 is very high mintage, but that's pretty nice looking. But guys, what's going on right here? I did see this. You guys see this wheat stalk here, and then there's like a line going up there? Is that a die crack? I'm not sure, but that's a... Uh, too bad this didn't have a Denver or San Francisco mint mark. I think the San Francisco may be lower mintage. But that is pretty nice. 1913. Pretty good detail. But again, that might be a little die crack there, I'm thinking. But all right, guys. Let's keep on digging. Rule 32 of box 4 is going to give me a pretty nice looking wheat penny. Going to be wheat penny number 11. And a 58 Denver. The last one we found was a 1913 and now a 58 Denver. Quite a difference there in the, the years. But a 58 Denver. Pretty nice condition. I'll take it. Let's keep on digging. Rule 35 is going to give me two wheat pennies in the same roll. Wheat penny number 12 is very beat up and corroded. But I do believe it's a 1930 Philadelphia by the look of it. So that's cool. An early 30s. 1930. And then Wheat Penny number 13 for box 4 is going to be... Let's see here. A 1945 Philadelphia. So 15 rolls left in box 4. And don't forget guys, we still have one more box of pennies for this video. So don't go anywhere. But 13 Wheat Pennies and we have 15 rolls left. Or, uh, yeah, 13 wheat pennies. Sorry. Let's keep on digging. Rule 39 of box 4 is going to be another two wheat penny roll. So it's going to be wheat penny number 14 and 15. We have a 1950 Denver, it looks like. And a 1953 Denver. 15 wheat pennies. We have 11 rolls left in box 4. Let's keep on digging. Well, guys, we are continuing to find wheat pennies and multiple wheat pennies in like one roll roll number 45 is going to give me three wheat pennies all in the same roll and we're going to have a 50 denver a 47s and a 48 denver all three of them are in pretty uh beat up bad condition but three wheat pennies in roll 45 that means we now have uh 15 16, we now have 18 wheat pennies Another good box for the Wheaties, definitely above my average. Let's keep on digging, finish up box number four, and then we'll get cracking in, digging into the final box number five for this video. Let's keep on digging. So here we go, I just finished penny box number four for this video. Um, I didn't film these, but we did get a few Canadians, uh, nothing special there, just newer Canadian scents. Uh, but we ended uh, box number four with 18 wheat pennies, so definitely above my average uh no errors or varieties unfortunately uh no double dies but we did get a 1930 and then we did get this uh the beautiful 1913 with a lot of nice details still on it so 18 wheat pennies in box four we have one box left box number five and we do have a wheat penny ender in box number five so hopefully we can end this video off with a bang and find some cool stuff in penny box number five. Let's keep on digging. So like I said, guys, we did have a wheat penny ender here in box five. And the ender was reverse facing, so I didn't know what it was. But it was a 56 Denver. And in the same ender roll, there was another wheat penny in the roll. The wheat penny number two for box five. It's another 56 Denver. So two wheat pennies in the first roll. Let's keep on digging into box number five. Roll two of box five, wheat penny number three, 53 Denver. Nice. 
Roll number 11 of box 5 is going to give me wheat penny number 4. It's a 1945 Denver. And is it just me, guys, or does that Denver mint mark look like it's misplaced or off? It's kind of not centered underneath the date, and it seems a little lower. But a 45 Denver, wheat penny number 4. Let's keep on digging. Roll 13 is going to give me wheat penny number 5 for box 5. Looks like we have a 1945 Philadelphia. Let's keep on digging. Roll 16 is going to give me Wheat Penny number 6 for box 5. And it's in pretty nice condition. A nice looking Wheat Penny. It's going to be a 1952 Philadelphia. Very nice. Let's keep on digging. Roll 22 of box 5 is going to give me Wheat Penny number 7. It's going to be a 1958 Denver with a little bit of damage on it, but 58 Denver. Let's keep on digging. Roll 25 exactly halfway through penny box number 5. It's going to give me wheat penny number 8. It's going to be just a 44 Denver. Hopefully we can find something a little older. Maybe a double die or something cool in box 5. But let's keep on digging. We have 25 rolls left. Roll 27 of box 5 is going to give me Wheat Penny number 9. It's going to be another 44. Very common year, 44 Philadelphia. Let's keep on digging. Well, all right, guys, I'm on roll number 38. Gone 11 rolls and finally got another find. Box number 5 here has been a little slower than the last couple boxes, but Wheat Penny 10 for box 5 is going to be a 1957 Denver. Do have a bit of a die chip there in the 5 in 1957. Not in terrible condition. Pretty nice looking. 12 rolls left in box 5. Let's see what else we can find. I'm on roll number 41 of box 5. It's going to give me Wheat Penny number 11. It's going to be a 1953 Denver with a little bit of the original mint luster on it still. Pretty nice. Wheat Penny number 11. Roll number 42. Wheat Penny number 12. A 50 Denver. Let's keep on digging. We're almost done with penny box number 5. I went through the last few rolls in box number 5 and got two more wheat pennies, so we're going to end with a total of 14 wheat pennies for box 5. And here's the two I have not shown yet. A 52 Denver. And a 44. What a surprise. Unfortunately, in box number five, we did not have any errors or varieties or double dies. All common 40s and 50s wheat pennies. But hey, 14 wheat pennies is a little above my average. Also got two Canadians. I did not show a 99 and a 69. All right, let me get the fines from all five boxes. We're going to do a quick wrap up. I'll be right back. So here's the wrap up guys for this video, five boxes of pennies. I had a ton of fun and we had some awesome finds. Got a total of 81, 81 wheat pennies out of five boxes. Here's all the common 40s and 50s right here, big pile. Here's the oldest wheat pennies I found. A 1913, a 25, a 27, a 30, and a 1936. Um, I just realized, I'm surprised out of five boxes, I did not find one King George VI or an older Canadian penny. Bunch of just common Canadian cents here. We did get the 1960D with the die chip, one 1998 white AM, the 72 Denver DDO002, we got a 2006 double die, and honestly my favorite find would probably be the 2014 double die or DDO003. And I showed that earlier in the video under the microscope. But a lot of fun, really quick. 81 wheat pennies divided by 5 boxes. That's a total of 16.2 wheat pennies per box. So a little above my average. Like I always say in my videos, 10 to 14 wheat pennies a box is pretty average for me. So a little over 16, definitely above my average. But a lot of cool finds. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Leave a comment down below. If you want to help support the channel, you can send a super thanks to Heart down below or become a channel member and click the join button down below. But thanks for watching, everyone. And until next time, keep on digging.